Hey guys, I'm here to do my new review on Dust City by Robert Paul Weston. This is round one of the Red Riding Hood retelling here. Going into this book, I've checked some reviews out on Goodreads and for the most part, the reviews and the ratings were kind of split down the middle. People either really liked it or disliked it. After reading this book, I can see why. There were aspects of the book that I really enjoyed. There were other aspects of the book that I thought could have been better. Let's go through the book, what the book's all about, the characters, the writing, and the overall feel of this book. Dust City is about a wolf named Henry, and he is the son of the Big Bad Wolf. Henry's dad, the Big Bad Wolf, is in jail for the homicide of Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother. His best friend is Jack. Jack Jack of the Beanstalk or Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Maybe a little bit of both. Jack, he finds himself in the possession of letters from Henry's dad. Those letters contain the information about Henry's dad, what happened to the big bad wolf that fateful night. There might be a conspiracy with fairy dust. Through a series of events and circumstances, Henry finds a way to escape the home to pursue these questions about what happened to his dad, the truth about fairy dust, if there is still old magic left in Dust City. That's basically the synopsis of this book, Henry on this adventure to uncover the truth. Let's talk about the characters in this book. The biggest hump I had to get over was picturing these characters. Animalia are animals that have evolved into a very advanced state. They walk upright, they can speak, they wear clothes. They're as big as humans as well. So that ranges from all animals, from the wolves, foxes, ravens, to pigs, goats, you name them, they have evolved. I was kind of thoroughly confused on what he looked like. So he's not the Lion King kind of animals. They are the Fantastic Mr. Fox and Tailspin, Goof Troop, talking, speaking kind of animals. After that big hump, I really got into the story and what was going on in the plot. So let's talk about the characters. Henry, he's very likable as a character. He's curious, he has a sense of adventure, a sense of finding the truth. But other than that, I thought he could have been developed more oomph to him, you know? There are a lot of characters in Dust City, a lot of fairy tale references, and that's what I loved about this book. It was fun kind of pinpointing all of those characters and there were princesses in this book. There were a lot of fairy tale characters and elements to this book, which I really enjoyed. On that note though, I thought there were too many characters. The characters really come and go in this book, and I didn't feel there was enough free time for them. Very enjoyable, but I thought could have been developed a lot more. Let's talk about the writing. The pacing in Destiny is seriously fast-paced. It was, I think, too fast. I don't believe there was enough suspense built up. Things were just clicking. Things were going a little too well for Henry. Like anything, too much of one thing can be a bad thing. If a book is going too slow, it can get boring. If it's going too fast, for me at least in Destiny, I thought Certain events in the book could have made a bigger impact on me if it just went a bit slower and that suspense could have been built up more. The twists were alright. They were kind of anticlimactic. Oh, okay. Because there were so many high points all the time, when it came to the big reveals, it was kind of anticlimactic. But let's talk about the setting of the book overall. This is a modern fairy tale. It's gone gritty, it's gone dark. There were a couple chapters that were especially dark. On the opposite side of that, it was also very cute and cheesy at the same time. It had both aspects to it, very gritty and very cute. It actually met my expectations on that front. This book is full of action, full of mystery, some romance sprinkles in, nice cheesy romance. With that being said, the plot have been handled differently, the pacing could have been handled better. So have my comments confused you? Sorry. Yeah. For Dust City, I'll have to give it an unreadable rating. I did enjoy this book for the most part and I was convinced I was going to give this a readable yesterday. What changed my mind was 
Although I did enjoy it, mostly because of the fairy tale characters and elements, I thought as a story it could have been much, much better. I don't think the world will come to an end if you skip out on this book, which is a horrible thing to say. If you are interested, if fairy tale retellings, characters, elements intrigue you, maybe a library borrow or wait till paperback. So that is my rating, that is my review. Sorry if I was kind of going back and forth, I kind of hate when I do that. Usually with books I really like it or I really dislike it. And with just okay books they usually fall under the unreadables because I want you to read something that is extremely readable and I think we will find it in Sisters Red. Dust City was kind of a lightweight. I think Sisters Red have a couple pounds on Dust City. We will see how Sisters Red go. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, there we go.